Oh, you can hear me, right? Good. Um, thank you for this opportunity. Um, this this is my second Zoom meeting ever. I was so shocked that. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. I I I just got up. I almost uh, missed the meeting. I was I was sleeping. I've been down recently. Fever. So, but I'm getting better. So I would quickly read from my poem, and maybe if there's much time, I could. I would want to read another one before your questions. Okay. Um, okay. Rainbows and necklaces. Among the hundred ways to become stone in the chest is sniffing the scent of a necklaced body and helping God, his bioluminescent frame seated in a prism, save all every wisp. Play butler with ashes of two black boys burnt to flavor his chalice of salt water. If a boy is caught drinking the fragrance of bloom between the thighs of another boy, burning tires is the incense that cleanse the atmosphere. In their screams, through the thickness of the smoke, you'd see a white dove fluttering towards the ears of God, an olive branch in its beak. Once, I watched this smoke die strain falls of llamas into the color of rain. My kid brother lifted my head, his index finger pointing to the north of nowhere. Chike, see, the cloud, it is covering the sun. Later, I asked God, how are you today? And it began to rain rosary beads on string from the hands of a boy caught halfway in prayer. Through my blown roof, a rainbow adorns the sky. Yes, I'm done reading. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, this this is a poem I wrote from from a place of homophobia in the northern part of Nigeria, specifically. I live in Kaduna, Nigeria. I was born here, and um, on two occasions, I I was a witness of the killings of um, boys who were found to be gay, and. It was a really terrible experience for me. The whole necklace, and the, they call it necklace in South Africa. Um, they use tires and um, surround the the boys and get them burned, the mob and everything. It's just so annoying. You can't you can't beg, you can't cry, you can't shout. You're just there because you would, <laughs> you just implicate yourself even going there to ask anybody for help, especially if you are not an influential person. So I wrote from that place of um this whole societal hit where a system has been built to to not tolerate um these people as humans as people who should have all the rights that other people have you get um so i wrote this poem from this place of um of serious pain and trauma and um if you could sense through the stanzas and everything it, it looks like i was even shaking when i was writing like some one of my friend not, friends noted, I was I was so shocked. Actually, I wrote it from that place, and I can vividly remember the scene and everything. Yes, so that was how the poem came about from that place of pain. And I I wrote this poem I think a year ago, but it kept getting rejected, only to be picked up by fear, and I was so excited. 